Now at six, more backlash over the historic change in U.S. policy to normalize relations with Cuba. This deal the president has come up with is a terrible trade-off. Obama's deal uh, appeases the Castro regime. Live team coverage from South Florida to Havana as the White House reveals it wouldn't rule out a visit from Cuba's president. That last announcement that uh, Raul Castro could visit here is sending another round of shockwaves throughout the country. Tonight, South Florida lawmakers are lashing out at President Barack Obama. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live for us in South Florida, Miami-Dade with more. Gary? Well, there has been bipartisan criticism among some in Congress over President Obama's proposed Cuban reforms. Nowhere has the heat been turned up higher, however, than among Cuban-American lawmakers here in South Florida. We're just so deeply saddened, horrified, uh, in great anguish about this decision. Before reporters from around the world, Cuban-American lawmakers continued their assault on President Obama's decision to broaden U.S.-Cuban relations. The United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. The president's detractors say his plans to broaden trade, travel, and talks with the Castro regime are one-sided. What the president has done is give Castro, the Castro regime, a state sponsor of terrorism, exactly what they have been asking for. Among the speakers, relatives of Brothers to the Rescue, shot down in 1996. One of the spies returned to Cuba Wednesday, was convicted of conspiracy to commit murder in that, victim Mario de la Pena's mom. The little bit of justice that we had for the shoot down was stepped on yesterday. The president was called naive today. All of it is premised on the notion that if we open up to Cuba, the United States does more business and more commerce with the island, that somehow from that will spring democracy. I wish that were true. But Dr. Frank Mora, director of FIU's Latin American Studies program, a former deputy defense secretary under President Obama, says a failed Bay of Pigs 53 years ago launched a failed approach that's gone on too long. Isolating a country especially if it's a unilateral isolation, as we've done with Cuba, does not produce the outcome you want. An FIU poll this year showed a large majority of Cuban Americans support normalizing relations with Cuba. These lawmakers not impressed. It shouldn't matter if 99% of the people it's okay to say it's okay to back up a dictatorship. I hope that I will always be on the right side, even if it may not be the popular side or the winning side in any given poll. And these lawmakers say Americans aligning Cuban pockets and the Malacón will not serve Cuba well. Some in Congress, however, are cheering the president's warming to Cuba. Representatives from western states where a lot of wheat and corn is grown know that Cuba will buy it and buy lots of it. Some representatives from manufacturing areas know that Cuba needs to upgrade its degraded production uh, facilities and will be a big customer. We'll see how this debate plays out in Washington. For now, we're live in southwest. Miami-Dade, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you for that report.